Hello my friends and fellow YouTubers, welcome to my first video of Blacklight Retribution. This is a free to play first person shooter for PC gamers. And yes, you heard that right, this game is free to play. All you need to do is register and download the game and then you go. So the first thing that I want to mention about this game is, as I stay away from that airstrike, the graphics. The graphics in this game looks really nice. Now in my video here, as I play, I have the graphics settings almost all the way down to low. Not really all the way down, but uh, fairly far down. So I have disabled the DirectX 11, Bloom, Ambient Oculation, Distortion, just to mention a few of the things. In this situation you see two guys are trying to capture our flag and I was able to prevent that from happening. That's part of uh, this gaming mode. I think there are seven different gaming modes you can play in this game and this one is called Capture the Flag. So what I want to try to focus on in this first video is the default weapon that you get uh, once you just start the game and you haven't leveled up at all. Let's just take a quick look at the settings first. As far as I can tell, all the necessary changes that you would want to do to your gameplay is accessible here. Unless you want to have a higher or lower value than the game allows you to set. Now the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I shouldn't have to bring it up at all. Unfortunately with a lot of modern games you don't have these necessary settings and you have to open up the gaming folder and change it in the game INI file. Now if you have some experience with this game and you disagree with this please let me know why. Otherwise I'd have to say so far so good. Where I am right now is the training facility and it is recommended that you check this out the first thing you do. It is a quick tutorial that only takes a couple of minutes. I'm not gonna get into it too much, uh, you only need to follow the instructions, it's fairly simple. What I want to show you now is the first weapon you get, the default fully automatic assault rifle. I'll just fire an entire clip to the wall here. That's the way the weapon behaves without any spread or recoil compensation. So as you can see using burst fire will be a lot better in many situations. Hacking computers like the one you see here is part of the actual gameplay. And funny thing is that I actually got a little bit stuck on this place the uh, first time around. And it's because it is so much easier to hack these computers than I actually thought it was. So don't make my mistake of overestimating the difficulty. Now going back to the default assault rifle, I just have to say that this part of the tutorial is actually quite misleading. The most important thing with this first assault rifle is to be able to control the spread and the recoil and you don't need that at all when you do this tutorial. So unless you are fairly new to first person shooters, this target practicing isn't gonna do you that much good. Now you also get a grenade as part of your default gear and if you make a perfect hit on an enemy that also has the default gear it will take him out. Let's just make sure. Now the thing about the grenade is that you can't just hotkey it. You have to first equip it and then you throw it by clicking on your fire button. Now there are a few more essential things to learn about this game and some of it will be explained by the tutorial. But for the rest of this video I'll try to focus on actual gameplay. Starting right now. I'm sure hacking computers is just as easy in real life, right? <laughs> now one of the things about this game is that snipers are really effective and it's risky to engage opponents in this distance that you see right there, especially with this uh, uh, default assault rifle. So I'd say that this weapon is mostly effective at close and mid range. Now it might look like I was firing fully automatic in that situation, but that was actually quick bursting. Ouch, that grenade took more than 100 HP. Now, even if the regeneration is fairly quick, you only get half your hit points back. For the rest of it, you need to use one of these depots. And this is also where you can get all the other equipment that you purchase with experience points that you earned throughout the game. 
And in this video, I believe I'm like level 9. I've had the game for a couple of days, and I am still struggling a bit with how this uh, assault rifle behaves. Oh yeah, as you can see. Uh, one of the things that might be quite unique to this game, I'm not sure, but it's this thing called HRV. It will allow you to see through walls, enemies, and the other important stuff like uh, flags, mines, stuff like that. You cannot fire your gun when you use the HRV, and it has quite a long cooldown time. But if you quickly tap out of the HRV mode and you don't use it to its full length, you don't have to worry about the cooldown at all. Now there are a few more minutes left of this video and uh, if you like it, please subscribe to the channel. I will come out with more content and uh, hopefully you will also get this game. There's no reason why not.
So as you can see here, uh, being in the weaker team can sometimes be very frustrating, but uh, that's kind of the same with every game I believe. But who knows, maybe I'll win the next round. So uh, thanks for watching. Peace.